create A surface, then we can create B surface. Okay. We'll select this to this. We'll get 0.1 mm distance. Okay. So this will be offset. We can need to take 0.1. Again, from here to here, what is the gap we have? So here we have 0.5 gap. Okay. So this 0.5 mm gap we need to create as well as 1 mm offset we need to create. Then this surface we can create from the bottom side. Okay. So this is another kind of exercise we can say we, we need to do with respect to this surface. Okay. So we'll add this another part name, part number two. Part number zero two, we need to create. Just a minute. So we need to create this particular area. Okay, first then we can offset and create this periphery. Okay. So whatever we have input is nothing but the masses like input of surface. With respect to that, we can try to create this as consider this as a separate cat CAD model cat test we are doing. Okay. So firstly we have created the inside. So don't Go for that. We need to create the another one. So again, we need to have input. Then we need to have the work. In work, we need to have close volume. In that, we need to have class A modification. Okay. Okay, so in input we have only this opposite curve. Okay, so whatever we have this surface, we'll try to get this boundary. Then again, we have this length first. So from here to here, we have the length of so 1.16 so that we can get first. We'll add a parallel curve of 1.16. Something like this. Then we'll try to build this face. Okay. So we have the 0 0.5 degree dark. So if you want, you can just try to split this surface. Now we need to create this surface 90 degree. The tooling line. Point five, both side we required. Okay, so if we just check whatever we have created, so with respect to this, to this there will be zero gap now. Okay, so this we required the curve. This required curve we have now, so we can create the this face first. Okay, so this surface we can create. So we'll select this surface. We'll check the angle with the tooling. So here we have three degree angle as this is a class of surface for another part. Okay. Like this. We'll select the sweep command. We'll select with the drop direction. Three degree we can add. So on which direction we are going? So in something like inner side. But if you are not clear, you can add the maximum value and check which direction you are going. So you can add three. Then again, you can add five something like that we can add so somewhere here you can find this is nothing but surface we have okay so this is the surface we have with respect to that we're going to be add this surface as well as this surface now you can find we have this infinity as well as this edge so this we have three so this at a three we're going to be have this so we'll go for parallel curve. 
थ्री अप साइड देन अगेन थ्री डाउन साइड दिस इज ऑल्सो द वैल्यू वी नीड टू डायरेक्टली टेक I'll split this surface from the top as well as from the bottom, and we'll again try to create this top face. Okay, this we will create. So again, we need to know the angle. What angle we have? So this will be eighty-five. So that we can say five degree. We'll select this. We'll try to create. If we just check, we are creating at a periphery. Okay, so eighty-five. We can add the angle. Downside. So we'll stick to the edge. How much? How much length we want? That much we can go for. So five point one. Or if you just accurately want to check, go for intersection. Let's see if the point here we have five point one seven. So we can add, directly add that value. Okay, same way at the bottom we need to create. So we need to select the intersect with point we can add. So this value again we can add from the boundary. So here also we need to check the angle. We'll check this to this. So we can check this infinity to vertical edge. Ninety degree we have. So add that ninety degree. Okay. Now we'll trim the surfaces. We'll get this major. Surface. So we'll try to trim this first, top to this, and again we'll try to trim this to this. Then we'll check the fillet and we'll add the fillet. So here we have one R one. Here we have two point something three dia. We'll try to add R one. And we'll add that another three. And I'll check the classes surface. Whatever we are created, it's following the mass section or not? Okay, so you can find. So this is how we are following the mass section. Then we need to check the fillet value. So this is one point five. So if we want to reconfirm, we can go to reconfirm this. You can check this is how we're going to be followed the surface. Now we can create the close volume for that as well. Okay, so this is our input surface. What are the surface we have created? So it's only from the one reference, one reference to the surface we have created. Okay, so only boundary preference we have. So this is class A. You can add one color. Again, if you want to take a section, you can check and make sure. Whatever the class we have created, it is up to the mass section. Okay, so this is how we have created from the mass section on the surface. One reference surface we have from the another part. So from that we are creating the surrounding part as well. Okay, so this kind of the cat test also will be there. If one part is given and surrounding part only mass section is given. Okay, so we need to do the close volume now. So all these things we need to add. Into class modifications. Okay, now we need to have class B. Class B will be opposite of class A. How much value we want? We can check from here. Two. So two mm opposite of this part, outer side. Then again, we can create this sweep value. Either we can remove this in class A or class B if that is not given properly in this. So we have that 
it's zero. This is also might be zero. This is five degree. So we need to add another class C surface. In that we can select the boundary. We need to create I degree. Okay, so either in this area, we can create a, on A side or the B side, okay, depending upon how we want to have this parting line, okay. So, let's keep this bottom as a parting line, we can remove this B surface. So, we'll select the boundary, throughout the periphery, we are selecting everything. So, then you have the sweep. So, point 0.5 we're going to be add. Opposite direction. Check it's cutting inside. Okay, so it is 0.5 we are giving. So, I'll go for the trim. Trim of class A to class C. Then again, class C to the top surface. Then we'll have the width class B. So we'll just make it as a one join of this. Then this has a close volume for part two. Okay, we can add color. Then insert new body, add this color, so this is part two. Part zero one. Clear now. If we just check the master section, whatever we have, so from part one to part two, we have this master section. We can check something like this. We have the part one, we have the part two. If we just check the dimensions, what we have created, whatever the master section is given with respect to that is following. Okay. So even that you can check with the surface to surface, so you'll get a clear more idea. So what are the surface we have created to that you can check. It's going to be shown 0.5 mm gap over here. Okay. Same with the top surface. So this top surface, if you just check value, it will be 1 mm. Okay. Same here with the fillet, you can check. With the fillet is also show the same value. Clear anyone have doubt?